Hello, lovely people! Today is my birthday! Oh, you guys, I'm 23 years old. Well, hold on, today is not exactly my birthday because you're watching this video a few days later. I'm filming this on December 5th and you're probably watching this on the day after or the day after the day after. <laughs> I don't know, but I thought that you would enjoy watching me getting ready for my birthday. And I also really wanted to film a birthday makeup tutorial because I've never done that. So I hope you guys like the look. As you can tell, the shimmers are right on my eyelids right where they're supposed to be <laughs> anyways i hope you guys enjoy watching so without losing any time let's go ahead and jump right into it okay starting off by priming my face i'm gonna use the huda beauty complexion perfection primer i'm gonna massage that into my skin with my fingers this is a great primer for those of you with dry skin it's thick it's moisturizing and now that it's winter and my skin is extra dry it works great for me Hello, tomato face! <laughs> my skin is super sensitive. Even if I touch it like really gently, it's getting really red. Now, I'm taking this by Terry Brightening CC Serum. I just need to shake this before applying. Just give me a second. I like getting this on my fingers like this and then rubbing it like this, kind of warming it up and then pressing it into my skin. Oh. I always give my primers a few minutes to absorb into my skin before moving on with the makeup. I know that this is going to sound really gross, but my skin feels really nice and sticky, <laughs> which is exactly what I want before applying my foundation. It's so weird. I don't have the heater on and it's super hot in this room right now. Let me go open the window. And outside, you guys, it's so cold and freezing. Dimitri needs to fix my chair, you guys. Can you hear the noises that it makes? So annoying. <laughs> okay, anyways, if you have seen some of my previous videos, you will know what foundation I'm gonna use today. Remo Match Perfection in the shade Ivory. I've been loving this foundation lately. So I'm just gonna take it on my makeup sponge. Actually, that's a lot of product. And this is going all over my face. This foundation smells kind of weird. I don't know if it's good. Or bad like I can't decide if I like the smell or no <laughs> uh, I don't know sometimes I like it sometimes I think that it's a little bit annoying I don't know I'm not sure how to describe it for you guys it's kind of unique scent I, I don't think that anything else smells like that I realized that I totally messed up my brows <laughs> the last few weeks because I definitely overplugged them. Like, oh my god. Some of you guys were leaving comments on my Instagram like, what have you done to your brows? They look different. And I was like, what have I done? I didn't realize it. And then yesterday, I was doing my makeup and I was like, why my brows require so much work? Well, it's because I overplug them again. But that's okay. The good thing is that they're constantly growing. I mean, I don't know if it's a good thing because because of that I overplugged them because they were constantly growing, some random hairs were constantly coming out and I was trying to maintain them nice and clean and in a good shape and that resulted me getting rid of half of my eyebrow hairs. <laughs> but it's fine you guys, now I just need to do some extra work on my brows on a daily basis just to make them look as full as I want them to be. I'm taking the Benefit Cabrow in the shade 3.5 and I'm gonna use that to give myself some eyebrows. <laughs> Alright, and cleaning them up with some concealer. Dragging that concealer down to my crease. I won't bring it on my eyelid, I'm gonna keep it just on my brow bone and in my crease and before moving to the eyeshadows i'm priming my eyelids with the fenty beauty um eyeshadow primer pro filter eyeshadow primer <laughs> all right on the eyes i want to do something more effortless today <laughs> by effortless i mean i'm still going to involve eyeshadows eyeliner but i won't be doing complicated stuff like cut crease and double eyeliner and you know you can feel me i'm gonna try to keep it uh, less time consuming <laughs> anyways i'm taking this the balm meat matte trimony eyeshadow palette and look how beautiful colors i'll start off with the shade called matte matte lin matte lin 
yep this one right here and i'm gonna use that to set the concealer and the eyeshadow primer that i have in my crease so that the next eyeshadow that i'm gonna apply which is going to be a darker brown shade is going to blend out way easier with the same brush this is the morphe r39 i'm going to take this shade right here it's called matte evens and this is going in my crease I love this color you guys it's just the perfect brown shade for me because I love warm browns but they don't always look good on me and when I'm wearing brown eyeshadows I prefer them to be a little bit more cool toned and this one is just perfect because it's not really cool toned to the point that it looks gray but it's also not really warm toned like it's something in between it's just I don't know I love it i also love wearing only this particular eyeshadow all over my eyelid and because the brown in my eyes is more warm toned it makes really nice contrast because the eyeshadow is more cool toned it just looks good now i'm gonna what i'm gonna do hold on i need to decide i'm gonna take again this eyeshadow and i'm gonna apply it in the inner corner of my eyes maybe this brush is a little bit too large for this area but we're gonna make it work kind of changing the order of the things today but don't worry you will see what i'm thinking so now i'm taking this dark brown shade i'm using the sigma e57 and this is going in the outer third of my eye trying to keep that eyeshadow just in that outer third area without bringing it in the center of my eyelids because we're going to apply something really fun in there in a while so i want to kind of leave a gap in the center of my eyelids Going back to that Morphe R36, taking that first eyeshadow that I used and I'm blending out that darker color in the outer corner that I just applied. Okay, so you know that here when I say that I'm going to do something fun, I mean we're going to get some shimmers and glitters and sparkly stuff involved <laughs> oh this was kind of like a cute little song taking this liquid eyeshadow by nabla it's beautiful and i'm gonna apply that in the center of my eyelids hello baby shimmers oh look at them you guys Woo! this is so pretty i love it love it love it love it love it love it love it, love it, love it, love it. check it out you guys so beautiful oh so shiny now if you decide to try out this liquid eyeshadow by nabla make sure that you apply it quickly because it's drying out really fast let me do a quick wink quick wink quick wink okay i'm gonna do a winked eyeliner i'm taking this pretty vulgar gel eyeliner in the shade blacklist I wasn't planning on wearing falsies, but hey, it's my birthday! If I don't glam myself up today, then when? Okay, now moving on to the face, I'm gonna take some of this concealer. This is by Makeup Atelier, and as you can tell, it's that really nice pinky color, which is going to neutralize the bluish, purplish color under my eyes. I'm not going to use a lot, I'm just gonna add it in this area right here just to get rid of that bluish undertone for concealer i'm taking um, on the back of my hand some of the nars radiant creamy concealer and using my finger i'll add it under my eyes right here i'll quickly set it with my laura mercier secret brightening powder My hair is so freezy today. I fell asleep last night with damp hair and today it's uncontrollable. <laughs> now for contour, I'm gonna take the Sigma highlight and contour palette and I'll pick this shade. Oop, cheekbones! Now I'm gonna take this bronzer by BH Cosmetics. It's their Brilliance Bronzer in the shade Golden Gal. I just wanna kind of blend out the contour with it. Oh, I actually forgot to mention what lashes I'm wearing. These are the House of Lashes in the style... I don't know why I'm showing you this packaging. These are the House of Lashes in the style Natalia Light. And I 
just love them so much you guys the natalia light and the ilora light are my current favorite pairs of lashes they're just so fluffy and so wispy and they're gorgeous <laughs> this is the jouet rose gold blush doll and i like mixing the two colors In this rose gold blush duo by Jouet, there are some shimmers in the blushes, which I don't know if you can tell, but they give me just a very soft sheen. I love that. But they also have their flirt blush duo, and the blushes in this palette are matte. The rose gold one and the flirt one, I like them both. I think that they're gorgeous. Um, I just wanted to go with something more shimmery on my cheeks today. But if you have more textured skin, you might want to go with the matte blush so that you know the shimmers won't exaggerate your texture. I definitely have some texture on my skin, but I don't really care today. <laughs> I want to be shining, so I also had some highlighter. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone. I'll finish up with the eye makeup by taking these two colors and smudging them along my lower lashes and then I'll also tightline my waterline. I'll also add some of that same Becca highlighter that I used on my face in my tear duct. I added some curls in my hair and now to finish up the look, I mean to lock everything in place, I'm gonna go with the Ofra makeup fixer. Ooh. Next, I'm gonna line my lips with a lip liner by Jouer. This is in the shade Nude. And for lipstick, I'm gonna go with one by Colourpop. This is their Ultra Matte lipstick in the shade Times Square. I love the color of this lipstick, but I don't wanna go with something matte on my lips today. So on top of it, I'll go with my Gloss Bomb by Fenty Beauty. The shade is called Diamond Milk. I'm not a lip gloss girl, but guys, this lip gloss is my favorite it's really good it smells amazing and this is our final look i really hope you guys like it i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to press that bell button right next to the subscribe button because that way you're going to be notified whenever i post a new video you can also find me on instagram facebook and twitter i post on my instagram some mini makeup tutorials so if you're interested in seeing them you can go ahead and follow me on there i recently posted a video where i'm sharing with you some mascara tips and tricks so if you're interested in learning how to apply mascara like a pro you can go ahead and check it out it's going to be somewhere right here next to me thank you guys so so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye